Welcome back to this brand new series where Biz and I are going to be running a full pod team for the entire year. So what is a pod to start things off? A point of difference player is a pod. So essentially they're a player who no one else has, who is a completely different player to what everyone else is picking. Um, and for us, we've defined this with three key rules. The first rule, the player must be less than 10% owned when we buy them. So Nathan Cleary, 50% owned. Obviously he's too popular for us. We can't get him. Number two, we cannot captain the same player two weeks in a row. So we have to be changing our captains every week. If we get lucky with one guy, too bad. Got to take a gamble there. And number three, let's have a good time. Let's try to win the entire comp because we're going to be making this all year. to be part of a big series across the next, what is it, like 27 weeks or something like that? So the next 27 weeks, drop a comment below on your favorite pod on different guys that no one else is talking about you think we should pick here. Or just take the piss and tell me to buy uh, Tommy Talao because... A lot of you seem to like to do that, and I don't want to do it. So actually, if, if enough of you comment Tommy Talao, we'll add him to the team. How about that? So if, if we get 20 comments on Talao or something like that. But let's get into this. So the pod team. Look, I'm going to start here and just sort of show you some of the numbers here, but we're basing off the ownership just here. So Nico Hines, 14%. He's too popular. DCE, 3.7% could be interesting here. Um, a guy like Isaiah Yo, 5.4%. Isaiah Yo is the first pick in this team for me. So that's an easy choice. Jermaine Hopgood, 13%. So even he's too popular. Um, if we roll down this list, look, Mitch Moses, 5.6%. He could be a good option as well. I'm going to chuck him in right now. Um, but then the guy like Harry Grant, yeah, 26%. So he's far too popular. Cam Murray, 12%. God, that's close. If he dropped down at some point, we could grab him at that time. As long as we have a video or a picture of him at that low ownership, we can do it. Um, let's, so we've looked at sort of some of the top guys here. I want to break it down by position a bit here. So let's go to the hooker spot first. Who do we want at hooker? Um, I think at this stage, and I might game the system a bit here. Brandon hands is 9.8%. I feel dirty for doing this because is this against the rules? Lusick 7.9%. I'm going to get them both. I'm going to get them both. <laughs> Uh, and they're both under 10% right now, so I'm claiming it. Um, but I do want to move hands back. Oh, I can't move him to the bench from here. Anyway, let's just see if we want another gun hooker. So, look, Damian Cook is there. He's at a good price. Reese Robson, I do like a lot as well at 8.8%. Um, we could go for a real pod. Like a Jeremy Marshall King is 3.9%. Abby Corusau, 7.2%. But for the Dennis list, it's not great. Um, I wouldn't mind. I'm going to drop Jerry Marshall King in here. I think 3.9% is a really, really juicy pod for this team. And there are other hookers that look, I'm running, I'm running Robson in my personal team, but I think Jerry Marshall King gives us that real pod edge in the middle spot. We can go for some of these guns. I mean, you got like Tino 4.6%. That's kind of interesting. I think for Noah Blake, he sort of ran his race last year. I'm not, I'm not as interested in him. Cam Murray is too popular. That hurts a lot. Scott Sorensen, Josh King. Yeah, I'm looking down this list. Max King. Max King, 1.1%. Super pod. Super pod. Max King's all over it. So he had some injuries last year. He was not the guy that he will be this year. Ruben Cotter, 27%. That is, uh, uh, that is, that is not even close. That's, that's shocking. All right. If we go down this list, I don't like a lot of these guys. Leo Thompson, I have in a few drafts, but... Yeah, scrolling through these kind of middling guys. The reason I don't like a lot of these guys, so maybe Flagler. A lot of these guys are, I'm going to chuck Flagler in for now. Just a bit of a placeholder. But a lot of them are guys who, yeah, 30%, bloody hell, who could potentially, Terrell May. I do like that. I think I like that more than I like Flagler, actually. Terrell May has shown a bit more fantasy pedigree than Pat Flagler. I'll keep Flagler on the bench for now, but... Yeah, a lot of these guys who haven't shown that much. Oh, it's Tola, 11%. So close. Like a Leota, for example, right? Moses Leota is a guy who, yeah, 4.3%. He'll never be fantasy relevant because the way he plays footy is, is fantastic for real life, but it's just not going to work for fantasy. He just doesn't do the volume stuff. He's not flopping in on tackles. I mean, he's not much of an offload or anything like that, but Tupanoa, 15% already. Oh, we should have done this video a couple of days ago. Len Yu, 19%. I think 19% of you are making a mistake there. I, I don't see him being a big a big jumper. 
2.1% Fletcher Baker. Look, we're going to struggle to make cash. So the cash cows are really high ownership, which is why I'm kind of filling the team with a lot of these mid-range guys who we think could make cash. That's going to be the hardest thing for this team, making money. Uh, if we can't get guys like Ben Trebojevic and Sam Hughes and all that because they're too well-owned. Maybe David Morali. I think he's a good player in real life. He just hasn't converted for fantasy. He's got Xavier Wilson. 34.7%. He's, oh, here we go. Thomas McKayley, 7.7%. I am rushing you into my team right now, Thomas McKayley. So Sam Hughes, yeah, 33%. I can't get him. That's unfortunate. Mm, the Liami Fida, there was a bit of hype there, and then they got Luciano. I'm going to drop him into the side as a placeholder right now, and we can move things around as we need to. All right, edge spot. Edge spot is going to be pretty easy to find some pods. I really, really like Eli Qatar. I think he has the upside to be a big gun, 1.1%. That's a super pod. He's in my regular team anyway, so uh, that doesn't feel too silly for me. Then what do we want to do with this other spot? I mean, how's that, how are we going for cash? So 3.7 million. We've got a bit of money to spend. I'm looking through this and just thinking, mm, meh, meh, not too much value at this point. We could find someone that, like, what's Sean? So Sean Lane, he'd be high ownership. 8.2% for Sean Lane. He's a pod. He's a pod. I'll drop Sean Lane in for now. Let's see what happens. The problem with a guy like Sean Lane at that 8.2% is as soon as he has a good game, he'll rock it right up. So we won't be able to get him. After that, 10.3% Helen Loki. Mm. We just missed out on Loki. Okay. Maybe he'll have a bad article in the news. 23%. So one. Come on, guys. Come on. Sort this out. Help me out. Help a brother out with some lower percentages, please. Schuster, 3.6%. We'll keep an eye on that situation. Keep on that situation. 40% Pia Kura. <laughs> All right, no Pia Kura for us. Um, Jamin Salmon could. No, no, well, okay, 19.8%. I thought maybe people were a bit slow to adjust on that, but I was wrong. Ben Trebojevic is 48%. I think he's the second most owned player in fantasy right now, which, yeah, we're not one of the teams that owns him. So we just have to keep moving on. Um, who have you liked so far? Who haven't you liked so far? Like, drop a note. Drop a note. Let me know what you think um, because this is sort of all about team. And if I make mistakes now, then I guess biz can clean up. We can we can sort of work on it together. But I need your help as well. Be the right guys. We can go really different in the back line here. And we're going to have to make a lot of trades with this team um, through the year. So I don't mind a guy who could stay strong for the entire year. So look, Pong is too popular. Latrell is not too popular. Plays in Vegas as well. I don't mind that. Greg Marzu, 0.8% super pod. He also won't play Origin, anything like that. That's kind of juicy. Drink water is free to us. Asako, I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole this year. Tedesco is a pod as well. I'll throw Teddy in for now. I might drop, I drop Matsu in. Is enough a pod? Do we get Tommy Turbo? 10.4%. We can't get Tommy Turbo. Don't worry about that. I don't love Manu or Garrick right now. RTS, 12. He's too popular. There we go. Um, I was going to have to find a reason not to pick RTS. Tail in May, 1%. I think that's a really nice pod. Um, I think he's got some upside. Cobo could be interesting as well, 568k. For a pod team, we can be a bit silly. I, I actually don't mind the Cobo pick. We'll probably chuck him in at center. So I'll just keep looking at wing fullback for now. We're going to look at Cobo at center. Pappenhausen, who, yeah, 40%. Bloody hell. Cola is 5.2%. I, I feel like he's more popular. A lot of you guys are sending me teams with um, Cola in them. Rapana 1.7% could be interesting. Bailey, 1.1%. I do like him as well. And then Jaden Campbell, we have to watch. So 6.4% right now. He's injured for the first part of the year. His ownership will skyrocket. So we can't be late on that pick. Mariner's already 10.9%. That's that's brutal. 
Um, I actually was thinking about him for this team. But it looks like it looks like Cobbo's probably gonna be our guy. Um, Sean Russell at 2.6%. Could be interesting. Cam Pereira, he's so much better than his fantasy scores suggest as well. I'm tempted by Sean Russell. Yeah, we just see Arthur's 18% already. Mate, these these Vegas games, man. These Vegas games, everyone's just everyone's just stacking on, picking all these players. Keeney, what's he? Yeah, he's up to 16% as well. We're in a tough spot. We're in a tough spot. Even like KO Weeks is 37%. I don't think he starts round one. That's that's my feel. Okay, Ken Bradley. He probably doesn't get the spot, I would say. But uh, I think Sean Bloor will take that spot over him. But at the same time, yeah, far out, gay guy. At the same time, we get him now. We can hold on to him. We can see what happens. At the center spot, I'm, I don't know. What are these guys own? Like Tango, 1.6%. We've got five spots to fill and we have 1.6 million. So we don't have a lot of cash to use here. I kind of like the idea of going super pod. Cobo's 5%, but in terms of real hardcore fantasy coaches, he's probably more like 0.1%. Panasini is 6%. That could be interesting as well. Or we go with Simonson, 473. Let's chuck Simo in there for now. 579k, we do not have enough money. <laughs> this is always going to happen. Okay, I'm going to ditch Flegler for this team. He was sort of the first guy I was happy to drop off. We need a half, and we need three guys on our bench. So obviously, like Flanagan is someone we all like. 18%. Yeah. Season's become a bit of a pod. He's at 1%. Um I'm I'm pondering it. I'm pondering it. Um halves, we need a half who's a pod and cheap Galvin. Has been playing really good in the trials. I think I get a start. Who would you get in the who would you get in the halves if you were doing this? Um, that's an open question. I because I need help. Uh, like Will Price is talking. Might play center this year. Drew Hutch, six point four percent. There we go. I'm grabbing Hutchison. So six ninety two k three spots. We are. We got to get base price, guys. <laughs> uh that's that's not ideal. Okay, not ideal at all because we couldn't get the cheapies and other spots with our pod team. And Dylan Egan, he was interesting for a bit. Mm. It's not great down here. It's not great. Like Finer will get a run at some point. Armstrong was good in the trials. I'm going to pop Armstrong in just as a placeholder. Right now, uh, I, I don't think he gets a starting spot. I think we need to wait for team lists and respond really quickly to those. Iroh is in 20 percent teams, man. We'll never get Iroh. Um, let's have a look. What's strange? He's at yeah thirty three percent. He's too popular for us. This is where we miss out. This is where we miss out really badly because we can't get all these sort of no brainer cash cows, and we have to settle for. Yeah, you know, like a Hayes Dunster um, sort of type of player. Or even Nick Kotrick, man, he's not even going to start round one. Do I put Talao? I'll put Talao on the team for you guys. I know a lot of you are big Talao fans. And then 197K, I got to pre some cash. Bloody hell. Look, Sean Lane's not that much of a pod. I feel like he goes against the nature of this team. So I'm going to kick him out. <clears throat> I'm going to kick Sean Lane out. I'm going to get. Someone who's cheaper than Sean Lane. Uh, and he was not that expensive. So it's going to be pretty hard. Dylan Lucas, same price. That's not ideal. I wouldn't have minded Lucas. Smithies is at 1.4%. Let's take a shot at Smithies. So there's a chance that he plays that lock roll and goes hard for Canberra. We have 235k. That's perfect. That's ideal. 
just what we want. Backs against the wall kind of stuff. You know, we don't want to have too many options. We want that base price player. Now, Marshke. Jacob Little is carrying an injury into round one. He's looking like he'll be fine to play. Marshke could be a guy who benefits if he misses time. That's a reach. Chevy Stewart is 13%. Don't worry about that then. I'm going to probably grab Marshke here. Um, that's where my head's at. I'm thinking Marshke. Uh, he's that backup guy. I'm going to move McKaylee into the 17. I am hoping and praying that we can do something about this, <laughs> this extended bench. But we also have a bit of money it's going to free up when one of the Eels hookers is selected. Um, so overall, I don't think it's a terrible team. I think we can captain... Moses against the Dogs, potentially. Although round one's always a bit of a slop fest. Isaiah Yo is the safer option, but are we about the safe option? Not really. Not really. And we can't captain the same guy two weeks in a row. We could also throw a captaincy on someone who's playing in the Vegas games and hope for something big there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't mind that. I'm going to shut the VC on Teddy. And we can we can figure this out. All right, cool. Well, that's that team. Jerry Marshall King, big pod there. Um, Max King, Taylor and Mate. A lot of these are guys who I like and I'd love to pick in my team. Um, but they're just not quite value enough for me to select. Um, we're gonna have to figure something out with this this um sort of wing fullback spot. We might have to sacrifice a couple of players for this team, but overall, that's the pod team, round one. I'm gonna get Biz to jump on. Um, and have a look at this team and, and sort of make his injections as well. And we can work on this every week. Let me know in the comments who you'd buy, who I'm missing. I'll probably miss someone because there's too many pods to talk about, but we're going to talk about them all this year at some point. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Enjoy.